All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning how we can make this a healthy but fun holiday season as we get some special tips from the St. Clair County Health Department as we're talking with Chris Chewahowski. She's the Communicable Disease Coordinator at the Health Department. And, and Chris, how can we as parents and family members help prevent the spread of the flu and the cold and all that during this holiday season? Um, one of the best things you can do is hand washing. I know people, have they hear that frequently, but that is the best way to prevent disease transmission. Uh, practicing cough etiquette. And by that, I mean don't cough into your hands, but um, turn your head, cough into your shoulder or your sleeve or a tissue, and then be responsible and take care of your own tissue and put that in the trash mm -hmm. rather than have somebody else pick it up. Yeah, I know even on my own desk, I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer. Does that help too? In general, it does. <laughs> there are um, a few instances where it's, it's not um, as effective, but if you don't have the opportunity to use soap and water, um, by, by all means, use the hand sanitizer. I know here we are uh, late in the school year, or late in the, the calendar year, I should say. Um, is it too late to get a flu shot to be effective for this year's flu season? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I, I know there's, you know, people think of the winter being the flu season, but actually flu can circulate year round, mm -hmm. just at a, a lower level. So it's never too late to get vaccinated. Is the health department still offering flu shots or do we need to go to the local pharmacist or to our local doctor? All of the above. <laughs> so we welcome people to come into our clinics. We do have walk-in days on Mondays. Um, or you can schedule an appointment the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, pharmacies and the health care providers can also offer flu vaccine as well. I know this is a preventative measure, taking the flu shot and that type of thing. Is that something that most insurances will cover or will people have to pay out of their pocket generally? Most insurances do have that as a covered benefit. So, um, you know, you can check with your insurance provider. We know at the health department which insurances will take it. If somebody does not have insurance, they can stop by the health department or make an appointment. And we um, would base the administration on um, their family size and income. So an, adult, an uninsured adult may pay between 30 and $45 for a vaccine, for a flu vaccine. And then we also have the vaccine for children's program for um, kids under 19, which um, they would be, if some some of them are eligible for. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.